Hi there. This is the Morphe Evans line and it's taken from Paul Morphy's fantastic game against Hampton in 1858 in the Evans Gambit. And Paul Morphy is known as the pride and the sorrow of chess because he was probably and arguably the greatest fully unrealized potential in chess history. So on e4 and e5, knight f3 and knight c6, bishop c4, black has played the Italian, bishop c5, and here Morphy launches into the Evans gambit with the pawn sacrifice on b4. Bishop takes on b4, is met by c3, which not only hits the bishop, but supports a d4 push in the center. Here the bishop retreats to a5, d4 is met by capture, e takes d4, and white captures. Hampton, whoever this man Hampton was, retreated the bishop back to b6, still more or less equal, but now consolidation in the center with c takes on d4, white's very comfortable. d6 is met by knight c3, and knight f6 will only encourage a pawn push. And Morphy being an aggressive player, needed no um, reminder, pushes e5 straight away. d takes on e5, allows white to play bishop a3, ensuring that the king is stuck in the center. So this is a very complicated and volatile position where black is on the back foot but can continue with knight takes on d4. We can see this pawn on d4 is actually attacked one, two, three, four times, four black pieces on it. Knight takes on, not bishop g4, which was played, but knight takes on d4, are arguably better, because now if knight takes on e5, bishop e6 maintains the tension. The black king is still stranded in the center, and white enjoys still a comfortable position, but black can certainly go on. Instead of knight takes on d4, this natural looking move, bishop g4, is actually losing. And this is how the game continued. Queen b3, while the king is stranded in the center, f7 is now targeted. So that was defended by bishop to h5. If queen d7, then knight takes on e5, hitting the queen. And after the knights swap off, the d file is opened after d takes on e5, hitting the knight, which might run to h5, rook a d1 is totally winning for white. So instead of uh, defending f7 with the queen, the bishop dropped back to h5. But now d takes on e5, sends the knight to g4, rook a d1 hitting the queen. The queen's going to go to c8 or b8. Here c8 was played. And Morphy continues energetically with e6, threatening to open up the e file. Black cannot allow that to happen, so plays f6, keeping it closed. Morphy could have won now with e7, but almost as good really is queen to b5, not only pinning now the knight on c6, but more importantly, hitting that stranded bishop on h5. So if the bishop drops back to g6, then bishop d5 puts more pressure on that pin knight on c6, and white is going to capture there, and wrap up this game. So this has been the Morphe Evans line in the Evans Gambit. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.